Hi there, welcome to this new video where we are together exploring a new functionality that has been added onto the Moose framework for DCS World. And that is to support combat air patrols, also abbreviated CAP within the military world. A new class has been created called AI underscore CAP underscore zone which is basically a finite state machine or a process that models the, con the combat air patrol. I'm going quickly through this diagram so that you get an overview of how this process works and then later on I will get into a more visualization of this process demonstrating through multiple diagrams the flow of the process. Let me clarify quickly the symbology of this diagram. The white boxes are states. That means the process during execution will be in a certain state at a certain time. The light blue boxes are what we call events. Events trigger state transitions, meaning, for example, if we execute start, then the process will transition from the non-state to the patrolling state. The AI cap zone is basically a state machine that will route an AI through a patrol zone. Uh, and while patrolling, it will detect targets and it will check status of the AI, meaning does it have enough fuel and isn't it damaged? And if both, if, if the fuel is empty or it's being damaged, then the AI will be returned to base. When targets are being detected, the AI cap zone will engage the AI automatically with the enemy. And the process will get into the stage engaging. During the engagement, any target that has been destroyed will be reported to the mission designer. You can tailor the destroy event to add functionality like show a message to certain players or even do other things like activate units and so on. The uh, process while being engaged um, keeps being engaged until all of the units that were detected are being destroyed by the AI. When that happens, when all the units are being destroyed, or when all the enemies are being destroyed, then the uh, AI capstone goes automatically, it will raise an event called Accomplish, and it will automatically transition back into the patrolling state, meaning the AI will fly back to the patrol zone. You can opt also, during the engaging of the AI, you can command the AI capstone to abort the engagement and it will also go back to the patrolling. As already explained, when fuel is empty or when, when uh, the group is damaged beyond a certain threshold or when it is commanded to return to base, it will be returned to base and the process will finish. Let us go quickly through the diagrams explaining this process in a little bit more visual, visual detail. So very quickly, the AI uh, cap zone is a is a is a process that lets a an AI being patrolled in a patrol zone. So there are two things you need to understand. The first is the AI patrol zone is the process, not the AI. So you need to attach an AI to that process. And once you have attached it through a method called set controllable, then you can start the process triggering the event start. The AI automatically will be routed to random points within the patrol zone and while it is doing that, it is detecting for targets. So when a bogey is taking off from the enemy towards the patrol zone, the AI will detect it. And that's regardless of any distance or any 
any visibility or anything when the ai detects the target it will be well it will be detected and an event detected is being fired that can be used by the mission designer to tailor that event and add custom logic add custom code an example could be when you detect a target you want to spawn another airplane from another airbase to catch that ai as well um, so the automatically so as a summary automatically when the ai is detecting targets it will automatically attack those targets beyond the parameters of the patrol zone and this is regardless of any distance it could even be 30 kilometers when the enemy is detected it will attack it now this kind of scenario is sometimes not so practical and therefore there are two options being created within the cap process the first is um, you can let the AI only engage if the bogies are within a certain engage range and that is expressed in meters so in this case for example you only want to engage the enemy when the enemy is flying within the engage range which is maybe 20 or 30 kilometers far the other option is that you want you only want to engage the enemy when the enemy is flying within an engage zone defined so that's the second option and both options provide a lot of flexibility to control the behavior of that AI while patrolling so when out of fuel damaged or uh, commanded to return to base the AI, the AI will return back to base I hope you find this interesting and demos will follow bye bye